Forget the genie for the moment. There is work to be done. We should let another contact. Who for? We would make more money selling water to a Yemen. Uh, where is your sense of duty? Duty does not fill our bellies. No. But it does enrich the soul. I will be outside. told me how this would be impossible to sell when she stole it, but she could not resist. Wonder what it is about this ancient form that fascinates her so. It takes but a few simple tools to build the greatest of mosques. I hope you continue to share your wisdom, Father, wherever you are. You said you have a contract. Let us honor it. Yes, yes. The sun casts a long shadow. Let us not keep the wish waiting. I cannot bear another lecture. These contracts. It is quite a few Darwish has pushed your way now. He knows I will come through. You have his trust. That much is clear. Do you suppose you have theirs? These shadowy types? I should hope so by now. Then they should show it. You take all the risk and they offer little in return. They are liberators, I know the stories. Still, the price of liberty should be enough to feed us.
Such crowds. Something important must be happening. The Khalifa has been summoned to the Winter Palace. It is surely his wealthy retinue that drives this crowd. <laughs> Perhaps they're in the mood to offer donations. Ah, I see you are here. It's a slight of hand to shop for our gifts. If this contract will not feed us, the Hilafa might as well. That merchant has left his purse on the table. An easy one to begin with. Come here! Ready yourself. I will pick them out. Hmm. There. The boisterous one. He must have something of value. Sneaky, sneaky. And over there, by that star, she's got some coin. Well done. You truly are the master thief of Anbar. Is that jealousy I hear? Hardly, O oh great looter of purses. Insufferable. Come, we are late to Durwishes. They're all looking spry. I wonder what tales will we hear today. The Khalifa has arrived with his court. Have you seen them? I have not. Though I did meet some of his merchants at the markets. I saw them up close. Al Mutawakil is much, much larger than I had imagined. A towering man indeed. Of course. He gorges on food served with the finest spices you and I can only hope to one day taste. I heard whispers of an important visit, but I cannot say from whom. I am sworn to secrecy. Let me guess. Hala, the palace guard's daughter. What? How did you know? I know where you really go when you say you are fetching water. She is kind, a good friend to you. And maybe more someday. Steal anything good? Who's your knee? Much better, Basil. Wrapped it and rested a few days, like you said. Good. So long as each day is better than the last and you take care not to extend yourself, you will recover fine. Has this happened to you before? 
Is that why you know how to treat it? I am no stranger to scrapes and bumps, but I have learned to prevent them. And so should you, if I may. Your sandals are worn and cannot grip the ground. Your knees are taking the brunt of your movements. We need to find you something better, something that fits. But that part is not so easy. The mosques are plenty. I am sure to find a better pair there, uh, if you will not pass judgment. Ha! Do not look to me. That will be between you and Allah, ya Sadiq. Steal anything good today. Nothing a little adventure will not fix. with all the soldiers parading into the Winter Palace. Did they have swords and spears? Of course they did. They are soldiers. I'd like to... Where has your smile run off to? What has happened? I do not want to talk about it. Ah, but I refuse to leave until you do. We need someone to offset the grouchy winds that billow from Durwish's quarters. Is he responsible for the clouds that hang above you? He shouted at me. Called me a harebrained miscreant. All because I roused a few guards who were pestering me. Harsh. I would have done the same as you. Do you think he will tell me to leave? Ah, Mutia. You do not know him as well as I. So I will only say this. Durwish may appear rough. But he has a soft underbelly. He's only trying to protect you. Still, some retribution is in order. What can we do? What can we do? Ah, tomorrow, when all is quiet, we will sit on a nearby rooftop and stone his walls while he tries to sleep. A brilliant idea. See you later, Basim. You are on your own. Did you say anything about the ledger? Or why they want it. Uh, I tell you what they tell me, Basim. As always, it's just enough. Why are you asking? Huh? I would like to know just what it is I am contributing to. You have done much in the way of facilitating their endeavors. And so I will speak a word on your behalf. My one caution, and I have been doing this long enough to share it. Anyone, anyone who works from the shadows does so only because they must. In the face of looming danger, for example, by working alongside them, we have invited the danger to our door. And we must be very careful not to let it in. You are on your own, Basim. I do not wish for you to be upset. I took the contract, so I will see it through. I am not upset, Basim. 
I simply cannot understand why you overlook your own interests to serve theirs. You owe nothing to anyone but yourself. Remember that. This is no contract. It is a favor. I do not work for scraps. I will have to flee. Good thing I can outrun these sagging guards. Minor delay.